I'm Kieran. Today I'm on the range with Ticker's T3X TAC A1. This particular rifle is in the very, very popular caliber 6.5 Creedmoor, also available locally in 308 Winchester. It's a gun built on a chassis system. Those that know the Tickers will understand that the actions are pretty much the same. Um, like I said, it's built on this absolutely stunning uh, chassis system. M-lock here in the front so you can add all your accessories. 23.7 inch barrel, um, a heavier profile than you would find on a sporter, a hunting rifle. Comes standard with a muzzle brake. You can of course unscrew the muzzle brake and attach a sound moderator if you'd like to. The barrel is cold hammer forged, which I particularly like. A one in eight twist, which means you can shoot pretty much anything in a normal cup and core bullet, um, excluding the monolithic solids, anything from about 107 grain right up to 139, 140 grain, possibly a little bit heavier, 142 grain, to stabilize those bullets absolutely perfectly. The rifle itself has got some really interesting features. This absolutely stunning, fully adjustable chassis system is incredibly nice. Um, you've got, at the press of a button, a full folding stock, a rear stock, folds all the way to the side, which makes it really convenient for storage purposes, carrying, um, fits behind the seat in maybe your SUV or your bucky. Nice when you put it into the safe because it takes up less space. And it locks in place. You actually have to push, depress the button to open the stock again. And it closes like a bank vault door. It really is solid. There's no wobble, no instability. Nice feature, this pistol grip here, which I've already changed, um, just to show that it is possible. Anything that will fit a Colt AR-15 type platform will fit in here with the, uh, with the bolt that goes into the bottom of the grip. So you can put any comfortable grip that you're comfortable with here at the back. Magazine is all steel, solid 10 round magazine. Ambidextrous release, so you can release either from the right or from the left. Trigger is quite interesting. Um, rifle is safe. The trigger is a two-stage trigger. So you feel a little bit of slack there in the beginning. When you feel that slight bit of resistance, you know you're ready to go, and that's when your shot's gonna go. Trigger's also fully adjustable, and it's really easy. Uh, you don't have to take it to a gunsmith. That's really something you can do yourself. Just keep it safe. Uh, and in most cases, there's a little bolt that actually prevents you from going too light so that you will always be on the, on the safe side. Rifle comes standard with a Picatinny rail, so you can go straight on with your, your rings onto this rail. The stock itself, this rear end cheek piece, fully adjustable for height so that you can align your eye perfectly with your scope, depending on your scope mount heights. The rear is adjustable up and down too, but what's really nice, and it comes in the box with a rifle as standard equipment, you get all these little spaces here so that you can adjust your length of pull to your preference. And I think that's a really nice touch. And what, and what really impressed me is that for every single piece that fits in here that either makes it longer or by removing it makes it shorter, you get a set of dedicated uh, bolts for that specific spacer. So every single spacer has its own bolt set, also comes with a rifle. And what I like about that is that the bolt that is threaded goes into a receiving nut that is threaded. So you don't have a self-tapping screw um, I don't like self-tapping screws because once you do this two or three times, you actually lose all the tension. With this, it's really a Allen head. So you use the Allen key at the back, remove two, this comes out and you simply put your spaces in and out. Like I said, the stock is folding. Nice big tactical bolt knob from the, from the factory and typical with all tickers, silky, silky, silky smooth. Uh, just absolutely unbelievable, like absolutely silky smooth. A really nice feature on the TAC A1, let's say for example you've got a loaded magazine, a loaded round in the chamber and your safety is in the on position. For some reason you want to remove, extract the round that's in the chamber. Your bolt handle is now locked. Very nice feature, ahead of the safety is a little button. Depress that button, that will release your bolt. Your safety is still on, so the gun is still perfectly safe but you can remove that round and eject that round that's in the chamber. I think that's a really nice feature. Today I've got some uh, Sarko ammunition with me, 130 grain uh, Game Head Pros. Um, really pretty round, hunting round. And um, yeah, I have shot this rifle on one occasion. This is my second time on the range. 
I've got a lot of trust in these rounds. I think they're fantastic hunting rounds, good BC, nice for long range hunting as you would with a 6.5 Creedmoor. And uh, for today's purposes, we're gonna try a three shot group at 100 meters and see how she performs. Magazine loaded with three rounds, the magazine will take 10 rounds. 10 rounds really nice for tactical applications, sporting applications, not so much for hunting applications, it's, it's a big heavy gun for hunting, but for something like a typical South African fuerset, um, shooting springbuck or culling operations, maybe from the back of a vehicle, absolutely ideal. And obviously if you've got multiple magazines, each loaded with 10 rounds, you can shoot until your barrel's really hot. Um, the muzzle brake is quite loud, but it is very, very effective. Eyes and ears. Right, three shots, 100 meters, with Sarkis Factory uh, 130 gra grain uh, Game Head Pro, hunting ammunition. Um, through the scope, I'm on 30 magnification, simply shooting groups at 100 meters. Uh, yeah, all three rounds, shooting with the bipod are cutting each other. I'd expect nothing less. Uh, this is really a machine of a rifle. Um, absolutely wonderful for PRS competitions, uh, playing around on the bench, just having fun, long range gong shoots. And um, like I say, if you're gonna shoot and hunt from a, a static position, maybe in a culling operation and that, absolutely fantastic. Um, from a tactical perspective, it is everything that you'd expect from a tactical chassis based gun. Fantastic trigger, 10 round magazine capacity. This magazine is a all steel, solid 10 shot magazine, easy to load, silky smooth action, feeds beautifully, ejects beautifully. Uh, trigger is, you can really call it on the trigger. That I like it, to, I'm still in two minds about a two-stage trigger versus a single-stage trigger. I really like both. Um, you just gotta get used to them. Um, I like the fact that you take up that slack and you say, right, now's the time. And you can just hold it. Maybe you, you're aiming on a moving target and you just wanna wait until it stops and it offers the perfect shot. Uh, everything about this rifle, um, you can see is very, very well thought through by the guys at Ticker. Um, it's, it's just really a fantastic rifle. We've just had phenomenal success with Sarkis 130 grain Game Head Pro. Um, I've got three hand-loaded rounds here, which I also want to try, 130 grain bullets, projectiles. Let's just load them up. I just want to check basic versatility. Uh, these were loaded up for my own rifle, which is at home. Um, so, as long as they fit in the mag and they fit in the chamber, we should be good to go. They haven't been tailor-made for this particular rifle. I just want to see how tolerant it is of ammunition that would be totally foreign to it. So, let's try three rounds of my own ammunition, 100 meters. I must say, shooting this rifle is actually quite easy. Um, it sits nice and stable on the bench. Everything's really comfortable. The muzzle brake definitely works. Um, very loud, but no recoil. You can actually watch everything happening through the scope. Let's give it a bash. Three rounds. Right, first shot, a little bit lower than the Sarko ammunition. Let's try for group. First two rounds cutting each other. couldn't ask for more. You, you really couldn't. Um, this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for a tactically orientated rifle, please consider the Ticker T3X TAC A1. It's available in two models, one with a folding stock, one, one without a folding stock. I particularly like the folding stock idea. Uh, 
It really is everything that you're looking for in a chassis-based gun. Approach your nearest dealer. If they don't have one, they know who the agents are. They can contact the agents and get you a quote. Really an absolutely superb rifle. Thank you.